Hi, I'm Ralph Grizzle and I'm in the Faroes. Now this is a group of 18 islands in the Atlantic. It's a cruise destination and as you're going to see in the video ahead, it's an exceptionally beautiful place. We're going to go out and explore and meet our local guide, Hilda. Hilda, this is the way I'd envision the Faroe Islands. All of the, uh, the promotional material I've seen, the photos have been on, of these houses with these grass roofs. Is it typical for? Yes, uh, this is typical for the old days, but it has become very popular again with grass roofs. Mm -hmm. And um, it is very good insulation, environmentally friendly. And I guess in older days they used the grass on the roof because that was the material they had here. They didn't have to import it. Nature is always in front of you in the Faroes. Want a different picture? Just wait a few minutes. Light and clouds conspire to create an ever-changing landscape. The Faroes serves up nature on a big scale, but the capital is one of the smallest in the world. Hilda, how many people live in Torshavn? It's approximately 20,000 and uh, just under 49,000 in all in the Faroe Islands. Okay. Now this is a place where the cruise ships dock in the center of the city. Yes. It, it takes less than five minutes to walk to the city center. So Hilda, Torshavn is a lovely mix between the, uh, the old and the new. Yes, it is. It, and, and we are actually walking down. This was the main street earlier, mm -hmm. uh, two, three hundred years ago. This is the uh, part of the old town. Yes, it houses now the government. The government has the administration out here. The prime minister has his office out, out here. The government hasn't been mowing their, their roofs, it doesn't no, look like. No, no. You don't actually have to, to uh, mow it. It's okay to let it go yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. This in the Faroes, Faroes is called a chattler, and this is where we keep our meat in. When we slaughter the sheep, we hang the body up in these houses, so uh, the wind can actually blow dry it because it's open between the boards. Even though it's 18 islands, the Faroes are exceptionally easy to get around. The cruise ships call in Torshavn, and you can reach any point in the Faroes within about an hour and a half. An excellent network of roads and tunnels allows you to reach even the most remote destinations. The road we were on took us to the scenic village of Zhek. So here's the spelling, Zhek, and we're inside now the largest natural gorge in the Faroe Islands. It's 188 meters long. It's a natural harbor. This is where the fishermen would bring their boats and have them hoisted up on the rails for safekeeping. Heading south took us over mountain ridges where a beautiful landscape unfolded before us. Soon, we were in one of the most historic places in the Faroe Islands. There's a, a lot of history connected to this place, Chirchebu. This church is from 1111, and it is the oldest church still in use in the Faroe Islands. Mm -hmm. And here we have the old smoke room, Roigstovan. Mm -hmm. It is over 900 years old. And the farmer on the farm today is the 17th generation in the same family. The 17th generation? Yes, the 17th generation. So we've experienced the Faroe Islands on land. Now we're going to experience it by sea. We're out on a boat in Hilda. Where, what will we see? Where are we headed to? Yeah, we're heading out to the Westmana Cliffs. And we will see the dramatic cliffs in Westmana. And hopefully we will see a few birds as well. And uh, the shape on the, on the hillsides. So it seems like every time we turn the corner here, we see something exceptionally beautiful like this. Yes, I and mean, can you see the shape up there? Uh, they bring them out and keep them there in the summer. Uh, today it's not actually necessary, but it, you know, it's a man thing, you know. Our boat trip took us through narrow gorges within a few feet of the rock walls that plunged into the sea. Yeah, we're almost so close that we can almost touch these cliffs. Yes. Yeah. It's nice to get in this close and to you can really feel just how dramatic it is. Look at this, gosh, under the arches. Well, Hilda, it's, uh, it's time to say goodbye. It's a little hard for me to leave this place because it's so beautiful. It's created some really lasting impressions for me. Uh, these stunning landscapes we've seen, the very vibrant culture, and thank you very much for showing us around the Faroe Islands. You're welcome, and you're always welcome back another time. Thank you.
Farvel, og tak for ISV.